Do you know how to graph a linear equation on the coordinate grid? Well, first, let's take a look at a linear equation. y equals negative 2x plus 2. Now, we want to graph this equation. In order to graph anything on the coordinate grid, you know you're going to need an ordered pair. It's going to need an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. We don't have that here. We've just been given the equation. So we need to come up with a series of ordered pairs so that we can graph them on the coordinate grid. So let's make a table and substitute x and y into the table. Now, we want to substitute different values in for x so that when we solve the right side of the equation, we're given the values for y. Let's start off with 0. Negative 2 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2. What about if we put 1 in? Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, plus 2 gives me 0. Let's put 2 in. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, plus 2 gives me a negative 2. Let's put 3 in. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, plus 2 is negative 4. Now I have a set of ordered pairs. I have 0, 2, 1, 0, 2, negative 2, and 3, negative 4. It's a negative there. I can use these ordered pairs to graph this equation. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here's the coordinate grid, and here's our series of ordered pairs. We have 0, 2, we have 1, 0, we have 2, negative 2, and we have 3, negative 4. So let's start with the first pair. 0, we go up 2, there's our first point. Next we go 1, 0. Okay, so it's not going to move at all. It will stay right there. 2, negative 2. And we have 3, negative 4. Now we can connect these points. Here's the graph of the line. Now we can say that this graph represents the equation y equals negative 2x plus 2. Let's look at one more. Let's say we have y equals negative 3x. Again, we're going to set up a table. And we're going to substitute values in for x and y. If I do 0, 0 times negative 3 is 0. 1, negative 3. 2, negative 6, 3, negative 9. Now let's graph these ordered pairs. Our first point goes at 0, 0. Then we have 1, negative 3, 2, negative 6, 3, negative 9. Now let's connect the points. And we can say that this graph represents the equation y equals negative 3x.